that fuel when you can't deadlift. Huh? So, this is Will. Alright, guys. <laughs> What's up? Uh, how old are you, Will? 22. Alright, and why don't you tell us your some of your best lifts? Uh, 529, 325, 628. So, for those that don't know, that's a 529 squat. Uh, 3, what? 25. 325. Pause bench. Pause bench, and 628 deadlift. And you've been powerlifting for how many years? Two and a half. Uh, lifting for five. So he's been lifting for five, two and a half years. And where would you say have been your most gains? Like in the beginning of your powerlifting career or like in the last six months, last year? Beginning, but still making steady gains. Okay, and how would you say you're doing that? Now that I added the volume, the game train's going. S speak up, because it's loud in here. <laughs> now that I've added more volume, the game train's been going. Okay, and anything else? Like, are you doing anything out of the ordinary? Anything crazy? Like, <laughs> are you taking any crazy supplements? Like, a super creatine or something like that? No, it's sketching. So just caffeine yeah. <laughs> and so sticking to your program and adding a lot more volume do you think those are some of the main factors that you have attributed to your success that and focusing on my technique so will is extremely ocd about his technique and for good reason and it's helped i'll uh, post some of his lifts on but I just want to introduce you guys to him really quick. you guys some people that I lift with and uh, I just introduced Will to you guys and he is uh, <clears throat> I met him through the gym and everything and whatnot. Anyways you don't have to hear about our romance for it. Uh, <laughs> I uh, Will like he explained is extremely uh, picky I guess picky is the right word. Only word I can think of right now. About his, uh, about his form. You know, he records in most of his warm-up sets and all of his working sets. And if he notices any form breakdown, he is on top of it. Uh, I do the same thing as far as recording. And I'm sure a lot of us are the same way. But I do not think I've been around a lot of power this video. Uh, just how, you know, he's, he's a master of his craft. But if he sees any little breakdown, he makes, he makes sure to not only acknowledge it, but to fix that. And I feel like that's a big part, and he said it as well. I actually didn't think that's what he was going to say. But he's just taking consistency. Uh, but um, that's a big part, I feel, of his success. Uh, and also, not to mention, not to mention staying injury free. Uh, you know, he's going 22 and he's had some pretty impressive numbers for a, for a natural 22 year old. Uh, there you guys, I just wanted to, you know, kind of introduce him. I know you've seen him on the videos and I've mentioned him in the past, but it's a little formal introduction. And, uh, Find me, as far as update about me, my knee's doing a lot better. I don't feel any like pulling anymore. You still hear the cracking. It's not as loud, uh, but you know, I just don't want to risk anything. 
just gonna take my time and try to think of leg exercises I could do. So my legs don't shrink and uh, I still have healthy legs, hopefully. Uh, in the meantime, um, <clears throat> we do a lot of upper body work and probably upping the uh, intensity on bench. So hopefully that'll go up in the meantime. That's it for today, guys. Just knocking some cardio out of the way because, uh, you know, the transformation has to continue. So, 134 calories, going for around 300 today. It was at that point that I knew that I was only 44 calories into my cardio session. It's only been five minutes. I already feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> nah, not that bad. Alright, I'll see you guys later.